holla at Wendy, you know that's my home, bro, you know what I mean? She always show love to Mom deep and peace, so nothing but love for her, you know what I mean? No matter what goes on, all the, you know what I mean, uh, Charlemagne and all the talk and all the bullshit, it's all good, we don't care about none of that, you know what I mean? A lot of people can't, they can't, they can't go to Wendy's show, you know what I'm saying? Because they can't, they can't sit through that, you know what I mean? They, you know what I mean? They get done dirty up there, you know what I mean? But Wendy's my people, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know what I mean? It's nothing, what? Let's do it, you know me. I love to talk about everything, what? what what's poppin'? <laughs> A lot of motherfuckers can't do Wendy's show because they got something to hide. Mmm. You know what I'm saying? They scared to get up there on that hot seat. So yeah, you know what I'm saying? We here about to do the Wendy Williams show. You know what I mean? You know that's my home girl. Nothing but crazy love for Wendy. You know what I'm saying? She live right around my way, so we neighbors. You know what I mean? So it's all good. You know what I mean? I be bumping to her at the gas station and things like that. So it's all good, man. You know what I mean? Knock this out. She always so support. She always support us. So we support her. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it is. All right. All right. No doubt. Yeah, I just sent you a text. This is Tanner, our executive producer. All right, cool. So, uh, Wendy always keep the office exciting. You know what I mean? Like, that's a nice one. I had to be somebody locked up, drew that one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look, it looked like a jail picture, right? Like somebody locked up, drew that. Turn on the Mac and hey, Last time I saw you, you were at the gas station in a fly. I got a shirt It's nice to. Hi, how you doing? All right. All right, and of course, you know Charlemagne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Now, there are a few things that we want to find out from you. Hey, flip your microphone around. Yeah. You know, um, when I saw you in the gas station, um, 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 just coincidentally, a few yeah. months ago, um, I had briefly mentioned to you that I would love for you to have visited us during um, advice hour because I wanted to speak with you, medically speaking, regarding, yeah. um, you know, sickle cell. Yeah. So, for, first of all, your skin, you look great. Thank you. You look ready. Yeah. Your teeth, are those your original teeth? Nah, you no, know, I got my teeth done, you know what I'm saying? Got my teeth fixed up. They, I mean? that, that was a very well, worthwhile investment. Yeah, yeah. They look terrific. I mean? Look at his teeth, Charlemagne. Thank you, thank you. Was that after a fight? <laughs> nah, I don't know. No, no, that's, that. no that's, that. that's what smart show business people do. When, you know, they if you have to get something done. Yeah, I remember you know. um, uh, one of the people, Sharissa. You remember the R&B singer? Yeah. She spent $30,000, her first big amount of dough. She took $30,000 and she got all of her teeth redone. Now, yeah. of course, Charissa now is a has-been, yeah. but she's got great teeth. I'd rather yeah. have them a chain. Yeah, yeah. Is Better, that, I'd rather that than fill my mouth with diamond teeth, you know what I'm that's saying? That's what I'm saying. And that's I'd rather part of, really fix my smile, you know what I'm saying? Have a nice presentable smile. That's you know part of the growing up of hip-hop, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? That, um, that, that um, teeth and things like that are more important than rims no and doubt. chains and stuff. Yeah. So let's talk first about um, sickle cell and how are you doing? Doing real good, man. Feeling good, you know what I mean? Um, you know, it's unfortunate what I'm about to go through, but, it, you know, I put myself in this position anyway, you know what I mean, by even um, carrying a weapon, you know what I mean? So, it's, it, other than that, I'm just dealing with reality and feeling good, you know what I mean? And just gonna make the best out of it, turn into a positive situation, you know what I mean? Do they have you in a special ward or something? Yeah, I mean, they probably had me in, like, you know what I mean, like a high-risk ward, being that I'm on TV all the time, you know what I mean? And I've been, I've been in the game so long, so... A lot of people know who I am, and it could cause problems. So they probably had me, you know what I mean, separated from everybody anyway. I, you know what I mean? I think they got to do that. You know what so I, I mean? Saigon said you're going to be in PC your whole bit. Nah, I, do I doubt that. You know what I mean? I, I really doubt that. You know what I mean? What does PC stand for? What is that? Protective Protect custody. custody. Uh, well, is, is there a difference between the high-risk ward and the protective custody ward? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's definitely, you know what I mean, s separate. It's two separate things, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Now, regarding your sickle cell, this yeah. is what I was getting at originally. Um, um, are they going to make special provisions for you? 
Yeah, they definitely have to put me in a um, facility that can, you know, be able to handle it if I get, you know, a sickle cell crisis or something like that. You know what I mean? They got to be able to handle that because if they can't, then, you know, I, w I would be able to sue the state. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Now, for those who aren't that familiar with sickle cell but have only heard the, the term thrown around, explain what that is and what an attack is like because you and T-Boz from TLC are probably the most famous uh, representatives of right. sickle cell. I mean, basically, sickle cell is... Um, it's a disease that, you know, you got to catch from your parents, you know what I mean? Like, uh, one parent has to have it, and another parent has to have it, and the, the child comes out with it, you know what I mean? So it's, it's basically like, you know, um, it makes my blood cells change shape. Like, if I, if I don't drink enough water, if I don't stay hydrated, if I, um, you know, if I, if I don't dress warm in the cold, like, my, like my blood cells change shape and they'll start to link together and um, attack clot. your joints. It, it like starts to clot in certain areas wherever it chooses to. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And then it'll cause pain in those areas. You know what I mean? Okay. There's nothing really they could do for it. There's no medicine that I take every day or nothing like that. They could just give me pain medicine. And I got to keep myself hydrated with a lot of water and eat the right foods. You know what I'm saying? Now, sickle cell's been around for many, many decades. You know, like since forever. And <clears throat> you're saying that there's no medication that they can take you for that. So when you suffer an attack, like I recall, Charlemagne, was it you who was telling yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. About four years ago in Columbia, South Carolina, I had, I had you and Havoc at get the Holiday Inn, and you had suffered an attack. And we got you some pills from some chick who suffered from sickle cell. My man, my man, Big wow, G. Wow, that's yeah. crazy. That's Charlemagne. Yo, that said he's, that show. he's New that York show, now, yeah. I couldn't remember what the pills were, though. Yo, that's crazy that you said that show because Pun was at that show. Who? Big Pun. Pun was there, right? Nah, nah, this is like four years ago in Columbia, South Carolina. All right, whatever. Three. He does oh, a lot oh, of shows. Oh, you talking about, oh, okay. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of something nightmare. else. I'm thinking of something else. Okay, okay, my bad. Um, yeah, yeah, that's crazy, though. Why yeah, you know what I mean? Sometimes, sometimes like, I do that. Like, like we was in India. Like, Mom D was, like, the first rap group to perform in India. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And we went out to India, and, and I got sick of India. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, um... Basically, like the long plane, I've never been on a plane for for 18 hours before, you know what I mean? And like the altitude, you know, it, it makes my blood cell, it messes with my blood, you know what I mean? So okay. when, I, when I got out there, I got sick and, and I had to, they like got no medicine out there for yeah. that, like really, you know what I'm saying? Right. The hospitals was like 30 years behind, yeah. like they had to go in the street to buy pills, you know what I mean? Like yeah. off the street, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So yeah. it was kind of crazy. I've been through a lot of that, like that kind of stuff before, you know what I well, mean? Well, why don't you travel with? your pills or some some emergency medication? Um, I mean, sometimes it's just, it's just not accessible, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's just not accessible like that. Like, sometimes I might, I might have ran out or something, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't always need it, you know what I mean? It just randomly happens, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm not taking care of myself really, you know what I'm saying, it, it'll it happen, you know what I mean? I remember somebody I was running with y'all said you didn't have no health insurance. Why you get a does hip hop have health? Does, does, I mean, it's it's definitely hard to get health insurance. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I got I got health insurance. You know what I'm saying? Because well, you're G unit now. Yeah, I mean, you know, so I have I have insurance. Before that. That. <laughs> well, oh, before that, okay, you yeah, had health yeah. insurance before that. You know before the man? teeth, before the Porsche, you had health insurance. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, regarding fifty. Yeah. Um, all right. So, so to conclude with first, first of all, the sickle cell. So they will be making special provisions for you. They understand yeah, your they, status. They'll put me in a facility. They got a good medical. You know what I'm saying? Hospital in it or or next to it or something. You know what I'm saying? Well, yes. Okay. Now. Uh, regarding 50, will he keep your commissary nice? Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, my commissary. I mean, I know nice. you're, you're, I know you know. you're good on your own. Yeah. But will he be riding with you for this three years? Three years, three years is nothing, but three years is something. A long time. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, 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 will you be G unit when you get out? Will havoc? Uh, be producing and and all of a sudden Mob Deep will be over because it's easy to talk that brotherhood talk yeah. now. Yeah. But when you get in, and in three years, a lot can change. Do you have um, a business plan for you <coughs> and your family if by chance Havoc leaves? Yeah. I mean, I definitely got my things situated and planned out. That's what I've been doing all this time. You know what I mean? Because I, I had a little bit of time to plan ahead, you know what I mean, before I go in. Yeah. So, um, I've been situating my bit, you know what I mean, getting the business straight, you know what I mean, and, um, you know, making sure the family is good, you know what I mean, as far as the money and the business is concerned, like, mm -hmm. making sure my wife can handle everything and run everything, you know what I'm saying, and, um, basically, that's what it is, you know what I mean, and, um, as far as fifth and half, like, they all in my corner, you know, yeah. half feel like he getting locked up himself, you know yeah. what I'm saying, yeah. like, because this is the first time that we, we gonna not be in the studio doing songs, you know what I'm saying, yeah. since we met, 
Like, we always in the studio every day working on new music for the past 16 years. So this is going to be the first time where it's, it's going to feel kind of strange. You know what I'm saying? But we just got to get used to it. We all dealing with reality. You know what I'm saying? So regarding um, regarding your your wife, is that your wife or your wifey? Are you guys no, nah, it's my wife. We got married just recently. You know what I'm saying? My oh. birthday was November 2nd. You Congratulations. Know what I mean? Thank you. And we got married my birthday weekend. Has the sex changed? Babies. I mean, it's, it, it, yeah, it's, it definitely changed. No, I mean, it's better. Okay, good, good. See, that's got to be the worst part good. of going away for three years. Being yeah, away yeah, away. yeah, yeah. It's definitely, it's definitely, you know what I mean, going to be kind of sad, but, But it's also got to feel good because I bet you, Charlemagne, I bet you they wouldn't have gotten married legally if he wasn't getting locked up. But he locked nah, it nah, down. Nah, it ain't like that. Mm-hmm. We've we been engaged for a while, you know what I'm saying? We've been engaged for a while. Engaged. And, you know how how long was a while? Like, years, man. Exactly. You know what I mean? Goose, he wasn't going to do this. Trust me. He got stopped go- with Alchemist that fateful <laughs> night when they made that U-turn in the New York City street, and he said, no, nah, I'm locking everything down. You know what I'm saying? Alchemist didn't get locked up, man. That's what I don't understand. Nah, he did get locked up. You know what I'm saying? Why he, you don't got to go through no time? Because, you know what I mean, it wasn't his joint, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And somebody had to take the blame for it. That's why we both got locked up, you know what I mean? Mm. So they was asking both of us, who's is it? Because it was in the it? middle of the console, right? Yeah. So well, White Man should have took the blame. Alchemist should have took the blame. He probably would have got no time. I'm not even willing to um put him in that position to even do that. Like, nah, nah, I don't let nobody, you know what I mean? I, if I do something, you know what I mean? I'll I handle it myself, you know what I mean? Same reason why they tried to tell me to plant evidence in 50's car and all that, you know what I'm saying, when I got locked up. You know what I mean? I was like, nah, nah, I ain't with that. You know what I mean? You are the soldier. For real. I mean, you know, it ain't got nothing to do with being a soldier or nothing like that. It just got to do with, like, you know, being a man. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Yeah. So, um, that night, uh, what night, what what month was that? Because we talked about it. Uh, Prodigy's here from Mob Deep, everybody. And the reason that he's going to jail for um, his three-year stretch is... He, you did an illegal U-turn. You guys were in an SUV. Yeah. A, a guy who who helps you all with your music, who happens to be white, named mm-hmm. Alchemist, who we know here on the show, was driving. You were in the passenger seat. No, I was driving. All right, you were driving. Yeah. He's in the passenger seat. The gun was in the console. Yeah. You did a U-turn. To get a parking spot. Okay. Yeah. The cops pulled you over. No, now, the cop, I actually got in the parking spot, and then the cops came from two different angles up on my car within seconds. So the story goes that this was the hip-hop police that had been following you for many years anyway. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, they followed us from the club that we were at earlier, you know what I mean? And they actually pulled over my little cousin's car first, because he had, like, the flashy... Rapper looking car, you know okay. what I mean? With the rims and it was a drop bins and red leather seat. So, you know, oh. he had a nice looking car and the car I was in, my car was um suburban, you know what I mean? I had a bulletproof suburban. Right. And no rims on it, it's not flashy at all. We just right. blend in, you know what I mean? And um we had another car behind us, it was a Hummer, you know what I mean? So we had three cars. The only flashy car that was there was my little cousin car. So when we left the club, the, um, the D's jumped in front of the Hummer and pulled my little cousin car over first. And he right. didn't even do nothing. Right. No traffic violation, no nothing. Right. You know what I mean? So he called me. Yo, the D's just pulled me over. I'm like, you good, son? He like, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. I'm like, yo, call me back when they let you go. You know what I mean? So he took too long to call me back. So I hit him back like, yo, what's up, man? You all right? He's like, yeah, they letting me go right now. I'm like, all right, well, we going to Alchemist Crib. Meet us there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, God. So the Hummer left. Now it's just me and Al. Okay. So we drive to Al Crib. Oh, God, my stomach's hurting. I bust the Yui. You know what I'm saying? I shouldn't have did that. It's a legal move. I bust the Yui to catch a parking spot. You know what I mean? Instead of going all the way around the block, I bust a Yui and then backed up into it. You know what I mean? Just, you know, that's how we do in New York. You know what, what I mean? What time of day was this? Three um, o'clock this in the morning? This is like 2, 3 in the morning. Oh, you know what I mean? Nothing good happens after yeah, midnight. Yeah, you know, yeah. you know. Yeah. So basically, you know what I mean? I get in the, in the spot and out of nowhere, whoop, whoop. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn. All right, that's cool. They got me. I did the little illegal move. You know what yeah. I mean? So they hopped out their cars and said, "Free, put your hands up." But you knew what you had in the car already. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like the, I shouldn't was, have been riding around with that in the first place. Was your heart racing? Yeah, I mean, nah, my heart wasn't really racing, but I was definitely yes. like, "All right, it's oh, a chance please. that I can get caught right now." Yes, you know what I'm yes. Yeah, you know what I mean. So anyway, they pulled us out the car. You know what I mean? They was like, "Get out the car." And um, basically, they made us sit on the bumper, and they started searching my car oh, my illegally God. without asking. Here you know what I'm saying? Here we go. Here we go. And um, while I was sitting on the bumper, my little cousin pulls up with the Benz. You know what I'm saying? And he parks, and he walks on, on the sidewalk to where we at, mm-hmm. and he tells me, yo, look across the street. I look across the street, another cop car was on the low, like an unmarked car was on the low just sitting there. Damn. He's like, that's the car that pulled me over. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So I'm looking at them, I'm like, okay, they ain't even get out. You know what I mean? Yeah. So whatever, the cops find a gun. Lock me and Al up, you know what I mean? We get to the precinct, 
they pulled me out of my cell three times that night. And the first time they pulled me out, they was like, listen, man, the arresting officers that arrested me that night pulled me out of my cell and was like, listen, man, you know what I mean? We'll rip up the arrest sheet. We'll uh, rip up the arrest report. Forget about the gun. Don't worry about it. We'll let you and your friend walk right now. You know what I mean? If you'd be willing to maybe help us set 50 Cent up or help us maybe plant a, a gun in his car or maybe plant some drugs in his car. You know what I mean? And I was just like, whoa. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's ill. Is that the first me. time that you'd been hit with that kind of offer from the hip-hop police or any any yeah, police? Yeah, from any police, period. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that was the first time. Like, I was just like, wow, it's real, you know what I mean? Because I always knew it's crooked, and I, I see things, and things happen to my friends, and a lot of things go down, so you know it's, but you don't really know until it happens to you. You know, yeah. how, you know how that go, you know what I'm saying? So I was sitting there like, wow, and he was like, yo, maybe, you know, maybe just set up, does he smoke weed? Maybe set up a buying bus where he buys some drugs off you. He's like, we let you walk right now, forget about it. It's like you never got arrested. I'm like, nah, I ain't willing to do that. And he was like, I right, take him back to his cell. And then they tried two more times after that. You know what I'm saying? Damn, damn, damn. What if and, it was um, Yale or somebody? Would you have did it? Nah, man. <laughs> Why? What could it say? Nah, Sorry. man. Sorry. Nah, I don't know, man. Can we <clears> take <throat> a break and you will Not even for... if it was Saigon or True Life or anybody that See, you know, I, I got problems with. Why'd you have a gun? Because we always hear about you getting in fights. And it's always man. that prodigy got beat up or whatever. But we never hear about prodigy <laughs> busting his gun. Why do you have yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, I mean, basically, oh, you know what I mean? <laughs> Damn you, Charlemagne. Look, <laughs> can, can, good, you, can you just hold on with that answer? Charlemagne, you're going to re-ask that question. Prodigy, he's going to yeah. re-ask that question. Okay. But we want to have you for another break because there's more I want to ask you about how you've set your situation up so that you can go in. And, and I want to ask you about your book and, you know, that whole All bit. Right. Um, there's some callers on, <clears throat> on hold who want to talk with let's you. Let's talk, let's talk. Um, I, I see a few people want to talk about sickle cell. You know, that's a big deal. Like, that, no like, doubt. That, that, like, like, sickle cell is a big deal. No doubt. And like I said at the top of the interview, you and t boz are probably the most famous people that we have, that we know, that we see, that we read about with sickle cell. No and doubt. when it attacks you, we read about that. Yeah, so we got a record called Never Feel My Pain off the HNIC. That okay, wait, stop. Stop. All right, look, we're going to take a break. And we'll be back with more Prodigy, because he's here with us before you go in on, what, January? Four days. Oh, crap. <laughs> would you like Would you countdown. like us to throw a little party? Uh, do, is, uh, like, what do you do before you go into jail? We have Nouveau on ice <coughs> in the back. I think I'm going to um, write, you know, 16 balls until the last minute. Man. No, but I mean, what <laughs> can we do? Do we order you a whore? Do we, <laughs> do we open the bar? What do we do for you? All you gotta do is just, man, be like, yo, new H and I off that H and I C two album, yo, drop that new P, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so every we'll, now and then, we'll work when on you that. feel like it. Know In what the mean? meantime, <laughs> follow close to Nicole. She's single. She's available. Ah, he's and married. She's got the key available. to the bar. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. I forgot. I'm sorry, Miss P. All right, we're gonna take a break. We'll be back with more Prodigy and the Wendy yeah. Williams experience next. At 42, we'll bring it back. Yeah? All right. <clears throat> yeah. You saw the man, you know what I mean? Like. Okay, so we'll work on that. In the meantime, follow close to Nicole. She's single. She's available. We got some time. Uh, we got some time. Uh, uh, All right, uh, we're going to take a break. We'll be back with more products. That's a wild. I know. I mean, Williams' experience next. I don't know. It's just last situation. Oh, no. Ah. Wendy Williams. If Craig Stover hadn't signed him up at Match.com, he wouldn't have his new fiancé, Julie, gave vaccination shots for her upcoming trip. Yeah. To wifey up, that doesn't mean marry, that means call gr main girlfriend, move her in, give you your dog. Would you be stupid enough at 20 years old to wifey up a girl with two kids? Um, you know what I mean? I don't really know, man. Like it Aww. really depends on the situation. This is why they're stupid. Really no, man. Like it really depends on the situation, man. You know what I mean? 
Ashton Kutcher did it. Every situation is different, though. You know what I mean? I wouldn't do it. Yeah, Ashton I mean that. Kutcher I wouldn't. I wouldn't recommend that at all. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Who's but calling you? you never know what, what it's about. Is that your girl? Nah, nah. Have it. I just you know. Make a song, forget it about nothing, man, because, you know. You bet to do your shout-outs. It's a big show right here. Like, I get kind of nervous coming to yeah. Wayne's show. You know I what noticed, I noticed you, you had dry mouth when you first came in. <laughs> you don't have to be nervous um, here. Nah, you know, because it's a big show, you know what I'm saying? So what? You know, I do a lot of shows, but your show is big, man. You know I know appreciate the acknowledgement, but we've known each other for a long time. And generally speaking, I don't throw you guys under the bus. I mean, no I doubt. talk when I need to. No doubt. But general, in general, it's all good, I man. think that we've always had a really good, the three of us, a really good working yeah. relationship. You always show us love, man. All it's right. Love. Well, that brings me to um, my next question. Do you have a sex tape online? Nah, I don't got a sex tape online, but um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, me and my wife went out for a New Year's Eve, you know what I mean? We went to a hotel. You know I mean? heard. I, I actually saw the footage you were... That was your wife? You yeah, outside, yeah, yes. Wife, you know what I mean? My wife kind of banging me, you know? Yeah, yeah, she's dope. That's why she's my wife, you know what I Hello, mean? it's, ha it's a <laughs> prodigy. Word, exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? We... We shooting a reality show, actually, you know what I mean? So I just leaked a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Something Tell us about there. the reality show. You know what I mean? It's something that we're doing. It's just about our life, you know, my family and everything in my life and my career and everything. What further you leak is you all in a hotel? What yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? Just some us spending time together. We just got married, showing us having fun, you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, doing it. Hey, you know, nah, none of that. I mean, we wouldn't, not, it, we wouldn't go that far. Not only doing it, but, 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 but why not? It's yeah, your wife? I mean, yeah, but I ain't trying to go that and put it all out there like that. We just teasing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Put a little show we having fun. Are you going to so. have the kids in, in the reality show? How many children? Yeah, they're in, the, they in the show. How yeah. many children? Um, I got three kids. We got 16-year-old, 11-year-old, and an 8-year-old. Now, uh, that's with her? Yeah. Do you have yeah. anything outside of her? No. Look at you. You're no nah. rapper. Nah, nah. What the hell's yeah. the matter with you? Nah. <laughs> you used to bang Lindsay Lohan before it was popular to yes, bang Yes, yes, yes. Now let's talk about that because right. Lindsay is in need of money right now and you know she's messing around with Courtney Samel. Oh, yeah? If I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Her, her dad is uh, the CEO of Yahoo. Her dad pulls down like $200 million a year right. in the income. Lindsay, as you and 50 know, because I know she's knocked on both of you all's bedroom doors at some point or another. Oh, he's scratching his eye. Oh, you wow. Know, you know that's nonverbal for, oh, here comes the lie. kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. Well, you know, it's tough being a big superstar, but, you know, um, sometimes they do go broke, and they meet, they must keep up appearances. So yeah. she, she made, like they say, $30 million in her career so far, mm. and she's really blown through that money. So she's been looking for the next best thing to keep her afloat. And as you might have heard, allegedly, you know, I'm also a reporter for Life and Style Weekly magazine. She's, uh, um, uh, she'll try anything. She's trisexual. She's, she's gay. She's straight. Whoever's going <laughs> to, she's going to take, whoever's going to take her where she needs to go. Uh, so right now she's shacking up with, uh, Courtney. Hmm. And Courtney is like spending dough left and right. And Courtney is, uh, Kind of Mr. Eddish. Wow. Yeah. So she's, she's like, I'm going to jail. Why so, are you telling me? Nah, nah. I'm it's sorry. Kind of, it's kind of crazy though. You know what I mean? Like it's a lot of it was a lot of rumors going around about her. You know what I mean? And, and you and Mob Deep and Prodigy. Yes. Like there's a lot of stuff flying yeah. around. You know what I mean? Have you ever partied with her? Yeah, I mean definitely. Yeah, we hung out before. You know what I mean? Did you see her sniff coke? Nah, I ain't seen that. Shoot dope. Nah, Pop nah, pills? nah, none of that. Smoke a bogey. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Did she soak it in vodka first and let it dry by the window <laughs> of the sun like we used to do in college? Nah. I mean, nah. We, you know what I mean? It was just regular at the party at Yeah. You know. Well, so you're still referring to Jay-Z as Gazy. Yeah, you know, he's always that to me. You know what I mean? Like, man, you know, it is what it is. Me and him on two different sides. You know what you doing business, though? Check out Sam Scarf over there? Oh, he's going yeah, we was, we was doing who? something over there with Sam, you know what I'm saying? But, um, I don't know who that is. Who I, don't really, I don't really know what happened with the situation with, with Sam over there. Sam you know Scarf? Mean? Sam Scarf, -o. Okay, was that yeah. your artist or something? No, he's a, he's a um, rapper from Jersey that we did a lot of work with, you know what I mean? We was helping what? with What I want him, if he's talking to rappers from Jersey, save our Joe Buttons. Yeah. And apparently that's too late, right? I was reading this interesting story today where you said you actually saw Jay and oh, Justin after that, that whole yeah. summer jam incident. Yeah, 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 that was a little funny incident. That incident is where um, he pulled uh, Prodigy's picture and had it, him in a tutu or something like that. Yeah, that's what he tried to screen. tell everybody. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, that's when I thought I was Mike Jack. Back in the days, you know yeah. what I mean? I was only nine years old, you know what I mean? My grandmother had dance in school, so you know what I mean? That's what it was, yeah. you know what I mean? That's where he got that picture from. 
You know, because my grandma, she was the first black woman to own her own building in Jamaica, yeah. Queens, you know what I'm saying? So it was a dance school business, and um, the picture come from this program that she used to put out with her concert every right, year. Right. So a lot of people from Queens know about my grandma's school. So, yeah. you know, it could have came from anywhere. It's not nothing that he got something amazing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, wow, look at this, what he over, found. Uh, you I, say when you saw Jay, he walked through and shook your hand. Like, oh, that's all. That's yeah, all you know what I'm saying? He was just like, yo, it's no beef, it's just rap. You know what I'm saying? What did you do? I was like, yeah, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Cause I ain't no, I ain't no person that's willing to take advantage of somebody if I, if I can had the opportunity to overpower somebody. I'm not, I'm not that type of person. If they hand no call for that, it, that's not what's gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Now, um, do you have any um, type business ventures going on? Um, not that you necessarily have to, but outside of this music industry that we should know about, a Foot Locker, a Popeyes, you know? Um, yeah, I definitely got. Some, some things going on. Um, the company I'm with now is called Voxonic, you know what I'm saying? And um, basically they own a patent on this technology where they can translate my song into any language in the world, you know what I mean? Oh. And um, basically we sat down, we had a meeting when I found out about the technology and you know, it was interesting to me and um, they expressed how they trying to uh, promote it through music yeah. and I told them about my HNIC2 album. So we came together and they basically made me a partner in the company and they hired me to do A and R for them, you know what I mean? And my album is coming out through them, you know what I mean? But so, now you're going in, so have they have they fired you? Nah, nah. You're nah, no good nah. to us, Negro. Nah, you're nah. out. That's the good part about it, you know what I'm <laughs> saying? For you. It's not good even for like you. that. Word. Good for you. Look, you got some of your fans that want to speak to you. Uh, they're they are all in their 30s and 40s all right. because uh, you know hip hop has grown up. No doubt. And we embrace that, no don't doubt. we? No doubt. All right, so um, Grace has been waiting, and she wants to talk about sickle cell. Grace, you don't have a whole lot of time. This is Prodigy with his last hurrah on the experience. Um, uh, go ahead, Grace. Hi, hi, Wendy. Hi, Charlene. Peace, baby. Hi, Prodigy. How you doing? How you doing? It's all good. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, how's his diet? Does he eat real healthy? Well, he's a big eater. You have to work for him in the diet and the fluids and all. But I tell you, in 2003, he had a stroke in the hospital. And they started giving him transfusion since then. No prices. Okay, okay. Yeah. Thank you, Grace. Uh, you, you, do you know about that Tylenol? Three? Yeah, that's like children. That's children's um, medicine. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 I you used to take that when I was a kid. But you need something a little that. bit more grown. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because well, I was born with sickle cell. I had the same type her son has, yeah. SS. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, they start you off with that. And then as you get older and you get, um, you know, adapted to the pain medicine, your body... Oh, okay. I, I, it gets like immune to the drug almost, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Like anything. Yeah. Does the chief help out with the, with pain? Nah, nah, none of that is good for you. You're not supposed to drink, not supposed to smoke. You're supposed to drink strictly water and eat a, a real, like, vegetable diet, like, eat real healthy fish, you know what I mean? Really healthy stuff, no red meat, nothing like that. Stacy's on the phone to talk to Prodigy. She says she, she's your biggest fan, wants to thank you. Stacy's 31, calling from Staten Island. Go ahead, Stace. What? Hey, Stacey, go ahead and speak to Prodigy. All right. Thank you. All right. She's Thank you, baby. Thank you. Have you stopped carrying pistols for this incident? Man, I really, I really want to really stay far, far away from that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's not a good thing, man. You know what I'm saying? It only brings trouble, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, will, will you change lyrically? Um, like, I know you're going to go in, you're going to finish your autobiography. You're very focused on your reality show when you get out with your wife. Um, you're very focused on your technology venture. And you are very focused also that there is a possibility that Havoc might go his separate ways. Not due to hate, but due to business. And no that doubt. 50 might go and you might be abandoned. You might have your wife and your three children and that's it. Yeah, anything could definitely happen. Exactly. You know My but, wife gave you abandoned me. That's a possibility too. Well, she listen. For Saigon. Let's not forget listen, that. we will keep you posted. Where, where are possible. you going to be? And are you going to be able to hear this microphone? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. I'm we're here. watching you, Miss P. I'm here. And we're going to report. She told, she told me to tell you how, too.
Mm-mm. Don't try to be my friend now. Nope. Because the second I see you running off with Irv Gotti while he leaves Saigon. Deb home or Saigon, I'm telling. You're going to be within distance? Where are you no going to be locked up? I'm going to be like probably like four hours away. That's not within distance. We are only syndicated on about three stations. I hope you don't go in and get lost like Shine. What the hell nah, happened to man. Shine? Yeah, yeah. I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely... I'm definitely trying to make my mark before I go in so the album can speak for itself. That's you know what, what I'm Shine saying? said. Word. I mean, you know, you let me tell you something. I don't, I don't mean, to, you know, I'm not Shine. I'm, I've been tried and tested, you know what I'm yeah, saying, for yeah. years. You know yeah. what I mean? Far from Shine, man. One, <laughs> one last thing. Um, your teeth. You yeah. know, because you got to get, you know, you got to go and you get, and those are fancy teeth. Those aren't just teeth from your skull. You can't get in fights with nice teeth like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, I mean, who's going to take care of the fancy teeth? And I'm asking you this seriously. This yeah. is not a joke. I mean, no, I just got to, you know, brush them. It's all good. Like, You've it's talked to like the dentist? That. Yeah, yeah. It's really nothing like that. You know what I mean? Just got to take care of them, brush them every day, keep them clean. They're low maintenance? Yeah. Yeah, for real. Do they stay white forever? Yeah, you know what I mean? They don't stain. It's called luminous, you know what I'm saying? I see the commercial. Hey. I need me some of them. Oh, yeah, you know what I mean? Maybe letting people sneak punches like Saigon did in, in jail those nights. Oh, I hate yeah, you. That, you have to keep that. going. Is that the one that we saw where you yeah, walked up behind ways. you and they, oh, they, oh, Saigon hit you in the back of the head? Twice. It's yep. all good. He got his for that. He got his for that. It's all good. But look, just calm down. You know and I mean? you be well. And, um... I, I guess we'll see you when you get out. No doubt, no doubt. Thanks for the support. HNIC2 dropping. HNIC2 dropping. First week of March, first Tuesday of March. Make sure y'all log on to HNIC2.com. Check out all the footage. A lot of controversial footage I'm putting up right now. You know what I'm saying? Just, just letting it be known, man. So go check it out. Well, I am going to stand up to give you a hug. All right, now. And we'll be back show with how tall you. Are, exactly. You know what I'm doing? Only because he's going in and because he has cameras. So why not give the full picture? Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Bye. 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 Man, they're gonna give me an extra cup of Yeah, yeah, that good. Peace, prodigy. All Everybody, right, we'll be back. <laughs> Aw, that was good. I'm not sure if we need drops. How's that new boat treating you? I'm only. Hey, yo, check this out, man. It's the H&IC, man. The head nigga in charge. You know how I do it, man. Prodigy, infamous Mob Deep, you know what I'm saying? And right now, you kicking it and you listening to the heavy metal hood shit, you know what I'm saying? With my thun, Charlemagne the God, you know what I mean? And DJFrosty.com, of course. You know how we do it every time around. It's not a fucking game, son, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing my little bit right now, but it's nothing. I'll be right back sooner than you think, you know what I'm saying? Because Charlemagne's going hold me down so it's really nothing i'm not worried about it son you know what i mean h and i see two in stores right now you know what i'm saying h and i see two dot com and all that go cop that it's on nigga fuck the police fuck all this fat all these racist evil motherfuckers we're gonna put a spotlight on these niggas they know how we get down they done started a war son let's go this for me sir it was a lot the cheese Yo, I was tempted to take the cheese. Almost did. Almost did. I'm cheese tolerant. I'm not tolerant. Not me. <laughs> What's happening, Norma? No cheese. What's going on with you, girlie? Cheese. Oh, you should have seen yeah. the cheese in the other room, son. It's a new thing. We'll call it cheese from now on. Cheese. <laughs> it, it was some nice cheese, no. I'm talking about. Exclusive cheese. Strictly cheese. Caviar type cheese. So, so how you gonna, come on man, this is not gonna work. It's like a perfume bottle. <laughs> yeah, that, that's so crazy. Now the girls probably really like this though. You know, we just did the Wendy Williams show. It was all good. I'm oh, sorry, excuse me. And you me. sounded good. Thank you. We thank heard you. you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.
Yeah. Yeah, sound good. You um, sound good. You know what I mean? It was cool. That's our people, man. We got love for Wendy, so we knocked that out. Um, we got a lot more. The day ain't finished, you know what I mean? We're going to do some more work right now. Probably get a video in real quick. You know what I mean? Hey, Who hi. Knows? How are you? Charlemagne, you know how to do it, man. He tried to get me. He tried to get me, but he can't do it. I'm too smart for you, bro. You're not going to have me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just brush it right off. That's just so long. Laugh at it. You know what I'm saying? All right, Don. All right. How was your day today? I can't see. I can't see. Oh, damn. You see how I'm doing it? Even if it was a I'm not even going to snitch on them. <laughs> that was funny, right? So you know what <laughs> That was, that was kind of funny, if I say so myself, that was kind of funny. He was like, what if it, he was like, all right, you ain't snitch on film, but what if it was Yayo, and you gave Yayo up? I don't know. <laughs> he said, you know, if not, it's important, you gave Yayo up. Iggy's, so y'all can get stop sharing. Up, man, like what you do. Okay. I know that shit look ill just now. That fucking clown, he just wanna say something. Did you stay there before? Probably have. Yeah, have Only have to stay some shit like this. I'm taking a bit of a grocery up there. I'm taking a little suck of toes. Yeah, he was licking in between that towel. You actually singing? Huh? Uh, let you singing that song? Yeah. It's good, man. It's out? All right, what's up, man? It's it's out? Out. It'll be out March. It's good. That's, that's nice, man. Good looking, yeah. man. That's right here, man. Hell yeah. Now, yeah. yeah, Philip. Yeah, uh, I thought you just uh, you really danced off that song. Nah, that's, that's good, man. Yeah, that, that ain't the dancing type song. That's yeah. more like, yeah. you know what I mean? We scheming, we scheming. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You know me, man. I'm all right. You know oh, don't me. pull out oh, you all the... Don't you know pull me. out not just now. Oh, you know me. You know me. I'm all right. You know, I'm all right. I've been getting mine for 43 years. I'm uh, old. Yeah. Yo, look in the camera and say, cop HNRC2. Who? Say, uh, cop that prodigy HNRC2 You know what HNRC out. means, right? Yeah. HNRC. That, that nigga in charge. Yeah. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. So I got an album. It's called HNRC2. HNRC2. Yep. Yeah. HNRC2. Say, uh... Cop that uh, free P. Say free P. Oh, free P? Say free P. Free, free P. P? Yeah. A uh, free P. <laughs> yeah. I got a whole lot of things to break out, man. Don't forget, good, man. You know, the FBI took the mafia over, man. Took the clan over, too, man. Don't forget that, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Ain't no clan no more. You can let them show them. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Don't look like a cop, yo. <laughs> All right, son. See you later, yo. Okay, guys. You look down there. All right, yo. Okay. Yeah, he a cop, son. Get the fuck out of here. I guarantee you, he's a cop. Bet you that. He just pulled out a knot out of his pocket, son. Nigga had 50s and no college shit in it. You know what I'm saying?